We like to talk about repurposing and reusing. And in this art studio, well, when they needed a table and chairs, instead of just getting an old folding table and chairs, how about a repurposed one? Look at these uh, chairs. These were actually picked up at yard sales, estate sales, uh, along the way. It's old and vintage and it's great. Look at all the layers of paint. It just adds to the character. And this table, it's ample for lots of people to be seated here. And I love the legs, great looking legs on this piece. Take a look at this bench. It's from reclaimed wood and the legs are from ladder back chairs. So the next time you reach for a folding chair, think about a vintage one instead. I always feel like I've gone back to school like I'm six years old when I'm in Jenny's studio. You know you can create art there and also energy boards and you know you can go to lifestylewithdenisesimons.com. We always give you that information at the end but just so you know every guest that you see on the show that's how you can get in touch with them so you can get in touch with Jenny. You know one of the things I did when I was in Italy I love taking pictures of doors. Doors say so much about a place. There was so much detail and artwork and carving and ironwork and they were all so beautiful and I in my house I have an arch doorway and it has a little window it kind of looks like Hansel and Gretel without you know the baking and the witch and all that but anyway what your door says about you and so if you're needing a new door hey guess what this is the guy that I use right here this is echo views and I'm so glad that you're here Brett Gordon Nice to be here. No, I'm so glad you are. And you, you're actually working on one of my clients' homes right now, replacing the windows and doors. But tell me about, you're kind of a one-stop shop. Tell all of our viewers who might not have seen your products before what you're all about, your businesses. Well, what we do, we do replacement windows and replacement doors. Um, the, on the door side of things, we, we use a product called Provia. That's the company that makes our doors okay. for us. And, uh, Provia is a, a pretty much the top of the line energy efficiency door in the marketplace today. Uh huh. And you also have sunsetters. We're going to be talking about that. Yes. And you also have your window replace yeah. the Echo Views. Right. And you also have gutter company. You're, right. you're just a one-stop shop. That's what's so nice is once he comes out, he can just uh, take care of all of those maintenance issues, right? Yes, ma'am. We certainly can. I love it. Well, you've got some pictures to show me of some of your work. So let's look at those and tell me what I'm seeing here. You're seeing a sunsetter awning here. This is a, a retractable awning. This is what's called a, a lateral arm awning. There's no legs that hold up the awning. So it, it actually, the arms actually hold the awning up and uh, uh, it just goes back and forth on a remote control. Uh, keep the sun off your deck so you can enjoy it in the summertime and when you're done using it, roll it back in. And it's really easy too. You showed me, I actually saw your product at, uh, at a home show and you showed me how it works and it's very easy to operate. In fact, you can use a remote yes. uh, too. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's it's all done with the remote control. And this year, we've got a new lighting system that goes on the awnings that is also uh, run off the remote control to where we can dim it and make the light the lights either brighter or dimmer with the same remote control that operates the awning back and forth. And that will actually retract as well? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Well, you, you're going to keep coming back and visiting us, and we're going to talk about those a lot more. But today, we're really focusing on the windows and doors, and we've got some more pictures. I just think this just makes this area, I mean, this sort of mm -hmm. looks like a Tuscan feel. Tell me about what we're seeing here. Well, you've got a, uh, this is what's called our, it's a fiberglass door system that we have. It's our top of the line signet fiberglass door, and it's got a, a specialty glass there with the, the wrought iron type look to it and everything. It's just a beautiful, beautiful door. And uh, all the, everything that Provia does with their door systems on their fiberglass doors, the stains are all hand stained. It's not, uh, it, it's not a fact like a, a paint that's being just done at a, a, a body shop or something. You okay. Know. And the, the uh, Provia door systems are made up in Amish country and over 80% of the people in the factory are Amish and that's who's doing a lot of this staining. Oh, well, I mean, this looks so grand and I mm -hmm. like, um, w what am I seeing there? It's almost, is, is that a, um, a relief work that's on that glass or what, what am I seeing here? 
That that one right there, I believe, I'm, I'm not too good at seeing what I'm seeing here either. It's etched glass, I believe, is what oh, we got there. Oh, you know there. what? I'm seeing it on this other monitor. That is exactly what it is. You and I mm -hmm. actually specified one of these for one of my clients. This, uh, you can get in a bronze, a gold, uh, and I think even a black. Right. There, it, it's a metal that yeah, goes into the caming. window. It's a Cam caming that yes. goes around and, and separates the glass. That's that's and that's exactly what that is. It's uh, the mm -hmm. everything's the caming's in there. It's hand put together. The decorative glass is hand beveled and hand hand done. Everything. Mm, that's beautiful. And you know what? This sort of has a mission style look. Mm -hmm. um, Wow, what a big difference. I mean, if you had an old-fashioned door that just didn't work and you added these with the side lights, I mean, instantly, you know, your door is sort of like your clothing that you put on. It really makes a statement about who you are. So you want to think about, look at your door right now, and if it doesn't look great, hey, this is a good-looking door. Tell me about this. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, the win the windows and doors are the eyes of the home, you know, and, and when somebody comes up to your home, it's the first thing they're going to see. And uh, what you're seeing right here is just a, a, another one of our top-end doors that we have with the decorative glass that's all handmade. And uh, we're using just a small bit of glass at the top, but it's still a privacy look to it, too, so people can't see right through. And oh, so this type of glass, you wouldn't be able to see right through, but it still gives you some light. Yes, ma'am. I like that. Yeah, it's great. Oh, and snowy. It's been <laughs> snowy around here a lot lately. <laughs> It sure has. And and just, I guess that's kind of pointing out how energy efficient these things are going to be. So, so many times you're losing so much heat and cooling around the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a big, big thing. Mm -hmm. And we've got some interiors now. We're seeing windows. Mm -hmm. Now, these are your replacement windows. But also, do you uh, sometimes go in and put more windows than were in a home than before? Sometimes it's not our specialty. I mean, we do though. Sometimes some people want to do like in this case, they wanted to put more windows over top of the existing windows, and we have to do some structural work there. But it was, it wasn't too hard to do. Uh, but if somebody wants to change something, but that goes in with roof lines and different things like that, what we get into there. But you definitely can. Now tell me something. You were telling me that the Energy Star rating was sort of like, you know how we all have gotten used to miles per gallon. I mean, even as girls, we're like, hey, that's 30 miles per gallon. I know that's good. You said that even this Energy Star, it's a rating just like we should get used to miles per gallon. Tell me about what is that rating? How, how do we know what we're looking for? Okay. On uh, it's a government rating program, the Energy Star thing. You see it on washers and dryers and just about everything you're you're buying nowadays. Mm -hmm. And they they require everything has to be tested. And on every window and door, there is a sticker that has to be on that window and door. And it tells you what the the U value is, which is an insulation value, and then also what the uh, solar heat gain coefficient. And what that is is how much heat can come in from the outside and when you look at those numbers you can compare windows against other windows to see who's got the actually got the better product because sometimes just looking at a window it's hard to tell one from another so so just to, for example for our viewers what would be a good rating to well, look for okay uh, anything under 0 .30 on either one of those numbers under, under the U value or the uh, the uh, the solar heat gain uh -huh. value is is a good number and each point that you go below that is a significant jump in energy efficiency so if you get down close to the point two you're really doing something you're really going to save some energy in your home yeah and you know Mary Claire was here earlier she's mm -hmm. always telling us about how sometimes the your glass can be literally heat and cold can be coming through that glass exactly. if you don't have that energy rating, right? Exactly. I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, so many times people will put a new window or door in and it's got a clear glass and it, it really, you're, you're not gaining a whole lot other than maybe keeping some air out around it, but you're getting a lot of heat transmission through that glass. And, and you go back to what she was just showing, how much uh, heat gain there really is and how it fades things out and everything. So it's very important to have a good glass in that door and window. To exactly. Now, how would someone know? I mean, you're, you go around, you're looking at your windows. I mean, how do you determine, okay now it's time it's time to replace this window how do you how do you know well first off pretty much anything that builders are using unless it's the homeowner specified they wanted a really high-end window uh, 
they don't put in a lot of good windows and doors in homes you know they they oh, build okay. them to sell the homes and they just they don't put in high-end stuff and most everything out there even if it's a double pane window is a clear glass which still lets a lot of heat through through that that's why you can see oh, people so putting even the, a double pane i mean you can't trust that that's going to give you that right. energy rating as well that's right oh wow yeah okay that's good to know we've got a couple more pictures too um no i think that we oh we uh, we're going to show um, this. This is actually, this is interesting. These are actually uh, uh, samples of your doors. Right. So tell me what we're seeing here. Okay, what we're seeing here, this is a, a cutaway sample of, a, of an interior steel door that we have. And this is a storm door on the same thing. The steel door, uh, most steel doors out there are, are 26 gauge steel. This is a 20 gauge steel door, much thicker, much heavier, and it's got a polystyrene uh, insulation in there mm -hmm. all the way through. There's n there's no uh, wood in here. Uh, one so of the you're not going to get rot on the inside, and it's a uh, really heavy on the outside. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And one of the things a lot of people see, um, uh, if you've ever seen people buy a house, put a door in, and a few years later, the door starts to rust through. They start to see rust spots coming through on the steel door. Right. And what that is, it's it's not that water's getting in there it's that inside the door is wood and that wood is is letting out moisture inside and the inside is rusting from the inside out oh so what they're doing is wrapping the wood and in this case you've got the foam on the that's inside right. so that's gonna what i like about it too now we're showing here that this is a painted but uh one of the things you and i have talked about is that you have the capability of doing the um the stain show us a couple of samples of the stain that you have <laughs> sure this is a um a, a one of our our fiberglass uh -huh. doors here okay okay and on the outside here, you see it's in one, and if you turn it over, you'll see it's a different stain. We can do one color on one side and one color on the other side. So if somebody oh, wants a paint yes. on the inside of their home, like a white, right. but the outside they want the wood look, we have right. the ability to do that. Okay. Or if you want a different color of stain on the inside, we have that capability. And we have just a okay. whole bunch of different kinds of stains. Oh, I like that. Kind of uh, has a little mahogany look mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. And different door styles as well. You have lots of different door oh, yeah. styles and the glass that goes in these door styles. Exactly. So what I liked is you and I were talking about on, on our client is that we wanted maybe stain on one side but paint grade on the other. Right. So you can do that as well. Exactly. We can do that. Mm -hmm. You can do paint on both sides. You can do stain on one side, paint on the other. It, it's really up to the homeowner what they want and what they need. And you were showing me some detailing too with the metal. Can you show me that piece of metal and why is that important? We were talking about safety. Yeah. And security is one of the reasons that you want a door. I mean, beauty is always at number one with me because I want, you know, the entrance, you know, it's the entrance to your home. But also safety is a big reason to get a good door. So tell me what you're holding there. What I'm holding right here is that that when you when you hear about things about break-ins occurring most of the time if you'll if you'll find out if they'll say it in the paper or on the news they'll say they kicked in a door they kicked in a door and what happens is when you're deadbolt and that's where this goes through here you've only got this much wood once that deadbolt is thrown there to to support it so if somebody kicks it it, that's all they got to kick in that that much wood right mm. there this is a, a 20 gauge steel security plate so when this deadbolt goes in here mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to kick it in right it's absolutely almost impossible to do okay? yeah it, that is so important to for us to feel safe mm -hmm. in our homes not just beauty but to have the safety as exactly well right yeah and you've got some uh samples as well of some of the windows that we want to talk about um now so how many panes you said double pane is not really the most important it's the rating so we talked about the rating the right. u factor and also how much um sun is coming through and glaring mm -hmm. show me what uh you've got there what i got here is a cutaway of and this is the inside of the window and this this shows you this is our top line window that has a a fiberglass filled frame okay mm -hmm, with insulation mm -hmm. you just love insulation you're carrying it everywhere you go today and uh, <laughs> especially uh, ugly pink <laughs> insulation <laughs> so what we've done here is we've created another number that you you hear about a lot in insulation is r factors and 
this is the only R5 double pane window sold in America today, and uh, and we have it. It's a uh, high energy efficiency, and and they they had to do a lot of things to get this to create that. But it's a double pane window. But the way we do the glass and the fiberglass and everything combined gives us a total energy rating of an R5. And we can make it an R6, but we have to add a third piece of glass and. Right. It gets more costly and things like that. Well, I mean, really, uh, Brett, you're the guy to come to because, you know, you've got the U factors and the R factors and all the other alphabets. It's so important, though, that you know that and also for your energy rating. So we'll be putting your information up on the screen and we'll be giving your information um, just in a few moments. But as I told you, we cleaned out our attic because we were getting it ready for Foamworks. Yes, they're going to come.